Right side to Louie. Inside to Bowles. Bowles has it stripped by Rodriguez. Turnover Madison as they got it out of the big fella's hands. Rodriguez, left wing. He'll launch a three ball. Book it. Rozell drives the lane left side. Has an easy layup that misses. Sanders gets the follow and leaves it up and in. Rodriguez to the right elbow, to Nixon, spots and launches the three ball, bullseye! That's what the Rams needed right Nixon straight away. Nixon gives it to Burgess. Burgess, off-balance jumper on its way. It's good! That's how the half will end. Bullseye for Bradford. 37-33. Rams by four as we go to the locker room. Leaves it to Skeen, left elbow. Skeen, backdoor cut to Theus. Easy layup in the score. Should probably caveat that. Right side, taken away by the Rams. Burgess strips it, leaves it up front for Rozell, who's got to hustle to get it. It gets into Larry's hand, and then he tucks it with two hands. He's got seven, and Matt Brady calls a timeout, and this place is starting to get unhinged here at the Seagull Center. It'll take a win on a Monday night at the Coliseum in two Mondays to get there. The last game for T.J. Gwynn and Kirill Pashelnikov will be the 20th win of the season for the VCU Rams, who beat James Madison and again exact some revenge, winning 76-62 in front of 6,837 Rams fans here at the Seagull Center. Win number 96 of the career for Gwynn.